what's up Gemini gang? Happy Valentine's Day. Day of love, love Gemini's. I may try to go live today y'all. I don't know because I have a lot to do today. But I will try my hardest to go live today. Talk to y'all for a bit. Um, All Gemini placements. Take what resonates. A leave of the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box, all right? If you want to know if these readings resonate with you, book a read, all right? Um, hit those likes. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate the love, the support. Um, the, uh, the, what, are the, what are the comments called? They're not super chats, the, the, the thank you, super thanks, super thanks. So thank you guys for those of you who have sent super thanks and uh, cash apps and all that. Um, yes, happy Valentine's Day. Now, um, what's interesting is, all right, when I was shuffling for you, I kept seeing a nine of swords. Why the hell, am I, why, why the hell did I see this card for you multiple times, uh, Gemini's? What is going on here? <laughs> now, these two cards look like somebody is crying. So, again, I keep getting somebody's crying. Are you crying? Um, the person on your mind is crying. Now, uh, I wanted to pick a couple of songs today in the light of a V-Day. Um, and during your meditation, I heard uh, Anniversary by Tony, Tony, Tony. So, some of you guys... Might be celebrating an anniversary. Do you know what today is? It's somebody's anniversary today, okay? Then what's so crazy is I picked up my phone. I went to one of my playlists. I hit shuffle. And guess what started playing? <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony anniversary, okay? So that's y'all song for the day. All right. Let's see what's going on. Let's see who's stressing. Now, when I was meditating, I didn't necessarily feel stressed, but I did feel a little sad. So, um, I don't know. And a little nervous again. So, let's see what's going on with you as Gemini. Okay. So, we have wedding here on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So, uh... So what's fell out onto the floor? Stay optimistic about your love life. Yeah. So now, Gemini, some of you might need some optimism. So some of you might be down and out. Don't be down and out. I've never understood that. Some of you are separated from someone and you feel it. You're feeling away because you are separated from them um, during Valentine's Day. Now my thing is this, okay? Romantic feelings. We're seeing separation here again on the bottom. So some of you might be separated from somebody. Uh, or you've been separated, all right? I feel like um, I never understood the whole um, getting depressed around Valentine's Day. Like, if, if you don't have someone, then just do something nice for yourself. I mean, of course, within your means, but I don't know. I, I've never been that person. Um, mm, codependency. So there may be a codependency for some of you um, regarding a connection. Gemini's. Or a codependency on things needing to look a certain way or be a certain way. I think I talked about that yesterday. Um, yeah, so, you know, ain't no need to stress, you know. Just go do something for yourself, like, past life relationship. Mm hmm Yes, you have known each other before, Gemini's. Yes, yeah, spiritual connection for a lot of you, religious factors. And then we have keep an open mind. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's see what is going on on this lovely Valentine's Day. <sighs> A Gemini. So I feel like it's, this is, first of all, this is a heavy, heavy spiritual connection. Really? This is how we're starting off. Yeah. I knew it was going to be something like this because I was feeling sad during your, um, during your meditation, uh, Gemini's, okay? We have the moon here, yeah. Some some pain, some heartbreak, uh, something along the lines of that. Some of you feeling away. Uh, but depending on the rest of the spread, the Three of Swords could also be like some type of communication as well, um, especially if you haven't heard from someone in quite some time, okay? So 
let's see what is going on or someone like trying to make make amends thank you that's exactly what it is the judgment wow ten of swords whoa oh some of you dealing with a scorpio um yeah someone wants to make amends it is that's exactly what that is for some of you communication bringing something back to life it may have been a stall or a standstill between you and someone Gemini's you may not be seeing eye to eye mm-hmm ace of pentacles flips over we see that tower there mm-hmm yes yeah, so you may get a gift of some sort um yeah somebody is wanting to uh reconcile talk pour their heart out all that good stuff uh gemini's i also feel like and i don't know if this is you or them but i feel like someone has been five 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 when i looked over thank you for the confirmation spirit someone has been crying or someone has been like sad so i don't know if 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 you get a text from this person and they are they've been crying uh gemini's two of cups fell face up now we did see that on the bottom of the deck when the when the reading started yeah five of cups here on the bottom wow yeah there there has some there's been some regret there has been some sadness um i feel like ever since you know y'all fell out or y'all um y'all separated or whatever your situation is uh, gemini's i feel like someone is feeling away um like I said, sad, heartbroken, all the all the good stuff, all the feels, right? And then again, this could be you, right? Because sometimes these these holidays be bringing that out in people. They bring out that that nostalgia, um, you know, those memories and all of that good stuff. Also, I've seen this Five of Cups, Gemini, uh, especially over here next to the Keep an Open Mind. Try not to look at the negative in a situation. So that's that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. Like if you're not um doing a whole lot of doing the most for valentine's day you know do something for you you know what i mean like you don't have to it doesn't have to be this big elaborate thing from someone right um use it as a day use it as a day to celebrate yourself um gemini's three of cups yeah now this could be someone else involved i don't know we see the king of wands here um but this could also be communication um especially with the ace of swords here on the bottom threes are about communication expression somebody wanting to express something to you um gemini's so there may have been a blockage with you gemini's or them you know could be pride could be ego yeah definitely pride the temperance card we're seeing that devil here the ace of cups okay so that's what that is that's what this is gemini's if someone wants to communicate with you someone wants to work this out wants to pour into you but i also get someone wanting to pour their heart out with that could be a sag for some of you and that's what i said though uh gemini's Okay, I'm not going to take any of these, but I'm seeing the death. Oh, wow. Look at that. The end of the heartbreak, but I also get to um, somebody wanting to like work something out. Yep, there's that. Could be a Leo for some of you. King of Wands here on the bottom. We're seeing the Queen of Pentacles. Um... Then we have the Queen of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. Some of you dealing with a Cancer or a Water sign or an Earth sign. I feel like somebody is going to like want to treat you to something nice here. Could be a Capricorn <clears throat> or may bring you a gift, you know, within their means, Gemini's. Okay, bring you something within their means. All right. So you know, you know who and what you are dealing with. <laughs> But I do feel like, uh, Gemini, somebody is wanting to start over. Somebody is wanting to, um, Ace of Wands, oh, express, because I'm seeing the Queen of Cups here, um, on the bottom. So I feel like, yeah, someone is wanting to be more open, wanting to be more vulnerable, um, 
yeah have some type of rendezvous <laughs> gemini's again however now we kept seeing that that separation card so i feel like some of you guys might be separated from this person but that's not going to be the case 10 10 when i looked over that's not going to be the case for all of you okay um yeah now we are seeing the queen of cups and the queen of pentacles so it makes me wonder if there is another person involved here uh gemini either on your side or theirs it doesn't have to be that okay so take that how it resonates because i get a, i get a communication thing with this especially it says are you serious your feelings are real and worth exploring so i feel like someone wants to pour their heart out that's what i get uh from this uh, gemini so i'm seeing the queen of pentacles again so if somebody wants to like tell you what what they've been up to or what they've been doing uh the hermit could be a virgo for some of you the king of wands mm -hmm. the five of swords yes so we keep seeing that king of wands mm -hmm. yeah some of you dealing with a fire sign whoa ah! so this fell out into my lap page of pentacles for some of you you may act, get axed out by more than one person i saw 11 11 on the clock some of you may get asked out by more than one person. You may have like a couple of options for Valentine's Day or, you know, if you celebrated last weekend. Some of you have have had a couple of options for Valentine's Day, but someone wants to be your only option. I feel like you, you might be dealing with someone that has been suffering in silence, like not saying anything. Uh, that could have been why we kept seeing that Nine of Swords. Gemini's. Someone's not saying anything or they kind of keep their uh, keep their pain to themselves or you have been doing that. Gemini's the magician. Love it. <clears throat> With the tower here on the bottom. Holy shit. <laughs> Love it. Gemini's. Now, let me say this. OK. Um, if If you haven't heard from someone in a long time. I feel like they've been thinking about this forever and a day. Like they've been trying to find the exact words to say. And that could be why I kept I, every time these last few readings when I'm doing my meditation, it's like um, like a nervousness that I feel like someone's nervous or anxious. And it's like, what what do I say? How do I say it? You know, is, is Gemini going to turn me down? Um, is Gemini going to, uh, tell me to go to hell? I mean, anything along the lines of that, I feel like someone is just concerned about what you're going to say. You know, there could have been a situation where they, um, they told you they didn't want a relationship. They told you they didn't want to be in a commitment, uh, Gemini. So it's like now they're coming back in this state of being ready. Okay. Knight of Wands. Here on the bottom, Gemini's three of cups again. So again, this makes me wonder, is there someone else involved here? The justice card. Someone could be going through a divorce. <coughs> Gemini's. Okay, take that how it resonates with you. Or they're having some issues with their connection. So if they're in a connection, I feel like they, they may be having some issues or this is you, um, Gemini's. But I feel like too, this person could have told you that, um, they couldn't deal with you or whatever. Like I said, they may want to play the field. They may have wanted to do what they want to do or whatever. But I do feel like you have somebody that is wanting to um, bring this back to life. Like I said, pour their heart out, uh, Gemini's, and like give to the connection. Okay, let's put the deck and see. <sighs> I didn't mean what I said. So whatever they said, Gemini's. Oh, you know what? This could also be this too. They've been think they've been thinking about something they told you, Gemini's. Gemini's. This person's been thinking. They just been sitting and thinking. Um Yeah. I keep being drawn to you. You feel like home to me. They they're always in their head. Like <sighs> I see Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo again. Um, mm -hmm. I just wasn't ready for you. I'm telling you, I feel like for some of you, this person may have pushed you away. Um, 
yeah i told you i can't be apart from you much longer i'm coming i told you i told you gemini's i told you they may have told you like i said i'm not ready i don't you know i don't want to be in a commitment you know whatever they said i want to put my arms around you and never let you go mm-hmm uh-huh <laughs> really really i have a surprise for you i told you i feel like they're gonna bring you something whatever happened between you two gemini's they haven't stopped thinking about it they've been thinking about this constantly like con it makes no sense uh gemini's i really have a, a hard time expressing my feelings and emotions yeah that's kind of the vibe that i get with the three of swords uh, as well as someone that has a hard time now I, I titled another video this you make me want to risk it all I told you I told you Gemini's <laughs> you mean so much to me oh oh wow Gemini's <laughs> I felt hurt by your words last action so again this could be either one of you because we saw that i didn't mean what i said so maybe you said something hurtful to them or vice versa or it was the mutual thing um gemini okay i wish i accepted your love mm -hmm. this person may have need some heart chakra work some uh um yeah worst i assume by jojo this person may always assume the worst or you do uh gemini's that could be the keep an open mind we're seeing that tomorrow again okay so take that how it resonates with you um something's coming in quick for a lot of you for a lot of you you're already dealing with this person it's just some type of disconnect between you two right now all of you aren't separated uh if that makes sense i feel a strong connection with you that's the vibe that i got with the overall energy especially with the past life and the religious factors I feel like you two have like a spiritual connection of some sort to where this person has a hard time staying away from you. I'm ready for real this time. Mm -hmm. That's what you say. That's what you say. Everything I said was genuine. So definitely some type of communication block that they want to clear up. Um, I'm sorry if I made you feel like you didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Let me get one more spirit and then we're going to wrap this up, Gemini's. I'm about to call slash text you. Told you. Um, all right, Gemini's, hit those likes, hit those subscribes, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.